Mitchell from Ohio who says, does it make sense to say that we enter eternity after death? Mitchell. Yeah, hello. Hello. Thanks hey. for taking my call. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what is it you want to talk about? So yeah, if if eternity is, you know, if that means without time, no beginning and no end, does it make sense for Christians or any religion really that claim uh, after we die, we go to eternity in heaven? Does that make any sense when eternity, by definition, is no beginning or no end? So to claim there's an eternity in heaven, wouldn't they have to say that they are already and always have been in eternity? This is like the theoret most theoretical show I think we've done this year. Um, uh, no, no, I don't think I don't. I think it it makes again steel manning uh, for the third time today. I think it it does make sense because they're talking about heaven itself lasting for eternity, not that particular person who's going there uh, being eternal. So uh, you can can you you know now the question can you enter eternity? At a midpoint uh, is is something a little bit more deep and beyond my mathematical scope, I'm afraid. Mm. But I, I don't think there's a, there's any problem itself with uh, if we're going to say heaven is beginningless and endless. Uh, I think that's a, a reasonable uh, kind of theological point to make. Although it does, I think the more interesting kind of point in this is when theists try and argue that we cannot uh, have an uh, uh, eternal universe because that is impossible and then want to argue for an eternal heaven uh, because uh, then they're just leading themselves into special pleading. But I don't see a particular problem with somebody... Uh, somebody's soul after death <laughs> steel manning again just to be clear uh jumping into heaven at some point and then spending the rest of their existence there jamie have you got a problem with that uh idea theoretically i mean if we grant that heaven is a thing i mean there's no reason for it to again be another magical thing in the bible that defies what we know of reality um and uh and we, you can argue that heaven had a beginning because in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. First line of the book. Um, so uh, again, it's a, it's a whole when Scripture runs up against reality, how do you square that circle? Or how do you you know? Um, but again, your Christians going to just say, well, magic in it. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, but. But with eternity having a beginning, I guess that kind of de de destroys the definition of eternity, doesn't it? Yeah, although they would just, could just rephrase it and say everlasting. Like, it has a beginning, but it will never have an end. Um, but the Bible sure I can... specifically, I can't pull out the verse right here, but it specifically does say eternity, eternal. And I can imagine certain people saying, well, what does the original Hebrew mean? And was it a translation yeah. error or how do we interpret it? I mean, there's lots of things that, um, again, Mr. God, we are steel manning today, aren't we? <laughs> Playing the role of a Christian, you're two, two atheists. But um, yeah, there are sort of um, rhetorical ways around it. And they could argue a thing and say, yeah, that particular word, eternal, has a very specific definition. But the thing is, words are descriptive, not prescriptive. Like the concept of everlasting, never ending, etc. That's the important point, not the actual word they use. You know, when you get down to pedantry over words, yeah, that's fair. Uh, you, you're just arguing semantics then. But the concept of a never ending other place that you go to after you die that's the important thing and it's arguing against the concept rather than the terminology that's kind of a bit more germane i think okay yeah yeah, yeah that all makes sense i don't disagree with any of that hmm. so uh, yeah that, that's all i had okay uh, yeah thanks for your call we yeah. appreciate it uh th there has been a lot of this kind of uh, 
and and it's great. I know not everybody's into this, but it's 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 kind of great. It's great on one hand, but it's also a bit like kind of college students smoking a spliff behind the shed. Yeah, on another <laughs> hand, and I it, do. And it's, yeah, I do feel yeah. a bit like I'm having line blind me's having a strong. I'm like, oh, what brain? <laughs> Yeah, is uh, the the thing, and there are you know, and you, you there are uh, you know genuine uh, philosophical conversation. Not that I'm saying smoking a joint behind the bike shed, you can't have genuine philosophical conversations. But there are serious professional philosophical conversations that talk on this subject, and there are different positions within that. Uh, but I think when when you get into this kind of, well, can Christians go to heaven if uh, if Evans eternal, you know, wouldn't that mean that they had to be eternal? Blah blah. You know, that that is very much like let's just take a talk and see what, what comes from it. 